Hello po, mabuhay. Peace be with us po. And bless day din po sa ating lahat. Tagbabalik po ang Come and See. Isang pa-preparing nga po, sabihin po natin, Jesus, I trust in you. Okay po, we are now on the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In our Gospel for the Day, we will hear the story of the rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day, and a poor man named Lazarus covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. The Lord wants us to learn where and what we can achieve if we live an abundant life and live an a poor life, and learn to be humble and listen to the teachings of the Lord. Pakinggan pa natin na readings and gospel for this day po. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, the God of hosts, who to the complacent in Zion, lying upon beds of ivory, stretch comfortably on their couches, they eat lambs taken from the flock, and comes from the stall. Improvising to the music of the harp, like David, they devise their own accompaniment, they drink wine from bowls and anoint themselves with the best oils. Yet they are not made ill by the collapse of Joseph. Therefore, now they shall be the first to go into exile, and their wanton revelry shall be done away with. The Word of the Lord A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. But you, men of God, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith, lay hold of eternal life, to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of my witnesses. I charge you before God, who gives life to all things, and before Christ Jesus, who gave testimony under Pontius Pilate for the noble confession, to keep the commandment without stain or reproach until the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the blessed and only ruler will make manifest at the proper time, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in approachable light, and whom no human being has seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal power. Amen. The Word of the Lord. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen, and dined some punctuously each day. And lying at his door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried, and from the nether world where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, My child, Remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad, but now is comforted her, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you a great chasm is established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours, or from your side to ours, he said. Then I beg you, Father, 
send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord Our Gospel for today is taken from St. Luke, and let us reflect on, Blessed are the poor. Maswerte o pinagpala po ba talaga ang mamayayaman o may kaya sa buhay? Sa panoon po natin ngayon, pwede naman po siguro natin sabihin na maswerte sila dahil sa mga natatanggap nilang biyaya. Biyaya na ipinagkaloob din ng Panginoong Diyos na maaaring magamit nila para makatulong o makapagbigay sa mga nangailangan o mahirap ang kalagayan sa buhay. Pwede po ba nating sabihin na iba naman po ay maswerte nga pero hindi sila blessed dahil siguro sa urin ng pamumuhay nila. Mayaman dahil ng aapi ng kapwa, ng daraya o ng luloko sa tao at sa batas. Nanggagaling sa masama o sa ipinagbabawal ng batas, nagmumula ang kanilang kayamanan. Maaring may kaya o mayaman sila, pero hindi sila nakakatulong sa nangangailangan. Pero ang mga may hirap po sa buhay, maswerte po ba sila o blessed? O naman po? Isang nagpapatunay po dito ang sinabi ng Panginoong Jesus sa Luke chapter 6 verse 20. Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. At Luke chapter 20 verse 24. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your comfort. So ang tanong po, ano ang gagawin natin para po tayo ay makapiling din ni Father Abraham, ng Panginoong Diyos, at ng Panginoong Jesus? Para po sa mga may hirap ang buhay, magsumikap po tayo at magsimulang magtiwala sa sarili na kaya natin tumayo, mamuhay na maayos, may pagmamahal sa Diyos, upang tayo din ay makaakay sa kapwa natin papunta sa Panginoong Diyos sa mga may kaya sa buhay o may yaman para po kayo maging blessed at makasama si Abraham kaya niyo po bang ibahagi ang iyong kayamanan sa mga may hirap? Sabi nga po ni Matthew chapter 19 verse 21 If you want to be perfect go, sell your possessions and give to the poor and you have treasure in heaven then come follow me. Tanong po ulit, kaya niyo po ba? Kung ikaw ay mag-iipon ng kayamanan dito sa lupa, make sure nakakapagbahagi ka sa mga nangailangan. Sa panahon po natin ngayon, yung iba pong may kaya sa atin, maaring iniisip na nila na kung bibigyan nila ang may hirap. Baka hindi na ito maghanap ng trabaho o magbanat ng buto. Baka po, iniisip nila, aasa na lang sila lagi sa bigay. Huwag naman po. Kung ano man po ang kaya nating ibigay o itulong sa mga may hirap, ay itulong o ibigay po natin nang walang halong pagdududa at panunumbat. Iabot ang tulong ng bukal sa puso at isip. Pagmamahal at pagpapakumbaba. Pakinggan ang salita ng Diyos pakinggan ang tinig na humihingi ng tulong. Ikaw, blessed ka ba? Kaya mo bang magbigay o ipagdasal man lang kahit ang safety ng mga may hirap? O baka naman po, pati ang pagdarasal ay ipagkakait mo pa? Maniwala, magtiwala, wag lang maniwala.
O Panginoon namin Diyos, imulat mo po ang aming mga mata sa mga taong nangailangan. Turuan mo po kaming magbigay at maniwalang kami ay makakatulong upang kami ay mapasama sa iyong piling. We praise and thank you. Protect us and guide us, Lord. Amen. Thank you for watching, my dear brothers and sisters. Maraming salamat po at God bless po sa ating lahat.